Hey guys, so as I am starting to redo my studio, I'm noticing a few things that aren't really... Every time I do an intro, he comes in here. Say hello. What are we doing today, Nemo? So today we are painting my electric guitar. I have a Fender Strat and the pick guard on it was yellowed just from age over time. You can tell once I take it off, the sections that were covered up by the volume and tone knobs are significantly wider than the pick guard that was showing and was exposed to sunlight and stuff and just slowly faded into this creamy yellow color. And because I painted the walls white, it really stood out and was bugging me. So I decided to paint it. Thank you. So you can see my acoustic guitar over here. The inspiration for how I painted the electric pick guard was this pick guard that is mother of pearl that was on this guitar. Let me go get it. When I first got this guitar, it has some beautiful mother of pearl detailing up here. It's a Blue Ridge. Highly recommend for an affordable but good quality acoustic. And as you can see, the spray glue just kind of, it just kind of fell off. So at the end of this video, I am going to be putting this back on. Like, look how pretty she is. I really love this mother of pearl, this like bluish teal. It has so many details in it. And I wanted to do something with acrylic paint that was similar, but obviously didn't have the iridescence. So. I'm just gonna let it roll and then we will come back.
One eternity later. do that whenever okay anyway so I have it all put back together and I am in love with how it came out I was a little bit unsure of how that busy of a pattern would look on the dark blue and I really didn't want to repaint the dark blue but I was like well maybe I'll do it like a baby pink kind of like this color over here to match the room but this is how it came out it looks so good in my opinion I really love it and this is it next to this obviously they complement each other but it's not the same thing I think once this is on here ah, once this is on here yes oh it'll look so good and they're kind of on opposite ends of the room so it's okay that this one is a little bit more iridescent I wanted to clear coat this pit guard with a glittery resin to give it a little bit more of that sheen but I got impatient and wanted to see it on there so I just slapped it on there. I am going to goo on all of this extra like spray glue residue and put this back on and put her over there and put her over there and I will show you what it all looks like and then this is the last step in my studio makeover that I'm doing. I do have a few more things I need to do, but I will be doing those in other videos. But after this the video that's coming out on Saturday will be a final tour of the studio and what I've done to it. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you're interested in getting a custom painted guitar, I would love to do more of these. So shoot me a DM on Instagram or fill out a contact form on my website and I'll get back to you. But yes, I definitely want to do more of these in the future. I'm absolutely in love with how this came out. And I have my custom stained neck that I did when I first got the guitar. And I just think it all looks really good together. So thank you so much for watching. Again, my studio tour will be coming out Saturday at noon, and hopefully I'm going to be traveling that day, but hopefully I can get it all filmed and scheduled by then. And yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye.